everyone. All my family, friends, and everyone. So, uh, anyway. So, I had a revelation today. I was, today I was a bit down. Down and blue, you know, just and just one of those days I guess and I get those days from time to time and when I get when I have those days from time to time sometimes I just I don't know sometimes I want to talk sometimes I don't want to talk sometimes I want to pray sometimes I don't want to pray sometimes I'm just upset angry hurt just you know thinking a lot of things and just trying to figure out some things and how to deal with some of the stuff that I'm dealing with hey Toya um but okay so like i said you know today was just one of those days i was down upset had a good day you know at work but you know still you know had my own little personal things going on today that i was been thinking about and just really experiencing and got home and of course you know when i'm going through what i when i experience what i'm experiencing you know being at work is one thing, but when I'm on my way back home and the closer I get home, it seems to just get worse and worse. <laughs> so I get home and of course, I was feeling even more down and upset, you know, just with some things that I got going on in my life. And this, I, I guess sometimes, you know, it's, you know, um, it's best or it's good to shed tears. I don't know why, it just feels better once you release those tears. But anyway, so during that process, I guess I had to release some tears, cry about it, think about it, and just, you know, just get over and get through what I was experiencing. Sometimes you just have to feel those feelings and just kind of get through them and do them. Uh, I stopped praying for peace because when praying for peace seemed didn't work because it seemed like every time I prayed for peace, things just got real hectic always so I started praying that God would help me to endure some of the things that I was facing especially at work and also in my personal life at home you know kids and all kind of other things that I got going on in my life so in the process of all of that I was downstairs didn't even want to eat I just wanted to come home really get myself situated and just go to bed early because that's just how upset I was and just down but anyway my appetite came back a little bit so I went downstairs started making my lunch for work tomorrow making what I was gonna eat for tonight hello and so um during all of that this word came to my mind and I didn't I couldn't remember where it was that I had to come find it but I remembered it it was I know it was talking about my grace it was talking about weakness and your strength well when I'm weak it, well it I'll just read it to you <laughs> I could really can't really get it out how I was saying in my mind but I knew what I was thinking about when I when it came to my mind and I knew what it was and so I came to find out, I mean, I came upstairs after I got done what I was doing downstairs, came upstairs because I just had to find that scripture because I felt comfort, comforted in that scripture. So I um, came upstairs, found the scripture. I knew what I was looking for. I just didn't know where it was at. So I came to it. I found that it was in 2 Corinthians um, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to read it. But, okay, before I read it, I'm going to pray. But just to get more of an understanding, just in case when I read it, you may not understand it. But I'm quite sure you'll probably understand it when I do read it. But, um, okay. Dear God, um, for everyone that's listening, even to myself, Father, I just thank you for seeing us through this day. And God, I just thank you that when we are weak, God, you, you allow us and you help us to be strong. And thank you, Father, for allowing us to share our testimonies with others, Father, when we're going through 
dark times in our lives, Father, we're able to share those things that we're experiencing with others, God, because sometimes we just never know who else is going through some dark times, Father, and what they're experiencing. And just our situation alone may be able to bring some light to others. But God, I'm asking you for wisdom and understanding in your word to not lean on to our, your under, to our, to our own understanding, Father, but give us clarity, give us wisdom, and give us understanding in your word. Thank you so much for it. Thank you, Father, for speaking to me, God, at a time that I needed you to speak, Father. Thank you for everything you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So it reads, like I said, it's found 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And it's talking about um, Paul's vision and his, in, hold on, Paul's vision and his thorn. So I'm just going to go um, to verse 7 through 10 it says to keep me from becoming conceited this is paul talking to keep me from becoming conceited because of these surpassingly great revelations there were given me a thorn in my flesh a messenger of satan to torment me three times i pleaded with the lord to take it away from me but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that christ's power may rest on me that is why for christ's sake i delight in weaknesses sorry that is why for christ's sake i delight in weaknesses and in insults and hardships and persecutions and difficulties for when I am weak then I am strong mm. sounds easier said than done but over time <laughs> mm. we can get through this but I wanted to share that because that just that scripture alone and just when you need a word it, and how it just comes to you when it comes to you at your moment of weakness and i just had my moment of weakness today just throughout the day but even more so when i got home and when god spoke that scripture in my mind and it brought me to this scripture to be to be reminded that when i am weak then eventually then he will make me strong and that spoke to me. And I know it speaks to many of us also. So I wanted to share that because that really just brought something to my mind. and was like, wow, I wanted to share that with others because I really delighted in how that just all played out and how that just went the way it went because I didn't expect that. But for God, they say... Um, he may not come when you call, want him. I mean, when, he may not come when you call, but he's always on time. And he was on time. And sometimes, you know, it may not come right away. He may not come right away. He may not answer right away. And sometimes we just have to endure some things and just feel some things and kind of get an understanding of what it is that we're feeling and why we're feeling and what we're feeling. But God always comes to the rescue and he's always on time when he does come. And I, I do thank God for that because I find myself sometimes really just being honest. I find myself really upset with God sometimes. And I hate that I feel that way, but I can only be honest with myself and I can only be honest with you by saying that. But one thing for sure when i do get angry or get upset with god i know my place and i know that i could never turn my back on god because through when i'm when i have sinned in my past and even now god never turned his back on me he never left me as he says in his word he never left me never forsake me so who am i to turn my back on the one who created me and the one who provides for me and the one who takes care of me and the one who 
does what he does for me. I couldn't possibly see myself turning my back on God because turning my back on God is it's death. I mean, it's death. It's I'm here because of God. So, I mean, just, I don't know. It's just, it was, an, it was amazing. I, I just, oh, goodness. It's, it's hard to even explain the feeling that I just felt, knowing that I felt what I felt and going through what I was going through and how it just happened the way it just happened. So, But I wanted to share that because maybe that scripture can encourage someone who's going through something right now. I live to try to motivate and try to encourage others and spread the word of God, even though I need it a lot in my life. But to say, um, pass it on. So pass on what I learned pass on what I've received and I wanted to pass that on to someone else because I know it wasn't just for me it was for someone else as well um so anyway hope everyone's safe enjoying the rest of the evening and I will see you all soon talk well talk with you all soon you'll see me but I won't see you but I will talk with you all soon. So um, you all stay prayed up. Be blessed. Take care. I love you. And um, I'll leave you with a word of prayer. <laughs> Father, as I close and as I'm about to um, get off, Lord, I just ask by, by your grace and by your mercy, that you bless every single one of my family and my friends, those on Facebook and those off. Father, bless everyone in this entire world. Father, just be with us and see us through the rest of this evening. Father, help us to use our time wisely, God, to read your word, to be positive with others and encourage others and love on others, Lord, and pray for others, Lord. Just help us to do the works that you have called us here to do. Father, help us to live in the purpose, God, that you have called us here to live. Continue to use us, Father, to do what's right and to bring light in this dark world, Father. Please forgive us of our sins and just direct our path, Father, and help us to stay close, Father. Help us to never turn our backs on you, God, because you never turned your back on us. Thank you, Father, for when we are weak, God, you help us to be strong. Thank you, Father, for strengthening us in those weak moments that we have. God, we know those weak moments, they come and they go, God. But when they come, Father, help us to remember who's our sustainer, who's our provider, who's our confidant, who's our everything, Lord. Help us to always remember that. Father, continue to be with us, Lord. And help us, God, in those areas where we struggle the most at. Let your light shine in our lives, Father. Help us to never forget who you are and who we are who we are and who we belong to bless everyone out there lord keep everyone safe we love you and we thank you in jesus name we pray amen so everyone have a um enjoy the rest of your evening and you know be safe and love you and we'll talk soon <laughs>